Here we, in bidding five, we have high, high peanut, high sentence, like 50 life. 50 years to life. 50 years to life. Are you doing 50 years? Yes. You're doing 50 years? Yes. For a drug offense? Yes. I'm manufacturing for sales. You manufacture for sale? Yes. What did you manufacture? Methamphetamine? No, but the, the crack, the co uh, the ice, 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 ice. Okay. Yes. So I'm manufacturing. I've got actually I've got date and I confess. So my case was dropped, dropped to fifty. Yeah. And I've got uh, amnesty already. Now my sentence is forty something already. Yes. So if two people have an argument, yes, the, the officers will let it go. Yes, let them fight on the on the on the. In the yes. ring. Yes, in the ring. Do people gamble on it? Nope. <laughs> just just for their for sh yes show for and the, and, the and then they clear they clear their, yeah, they their pro problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Boxing Muay Thai is in our blood. It's Thai in Thai people blood. We love Muay Thai. Yeah. What is your name? Actually, my name is Paka. Paka. My nickname is Leng. Leng. Yes. Like monkey Leng? No. Leng, Leng is Leng. in Chinese. There is dragon. Dragon. Yeah. Yes. Yours. All right. See you. Too close. Too close. <laughs> All right. So. This Bangkok, Thailand, the city of angels, the original fight capital of the world, one of the coolest cities on the planet, maybe not temperature-wise, but definitely cultural-wise. Bangkok has it all, the street life, the nightlife, hell, New York City is a 24-hour city, then Bangkok is like a 72-hour city. But there's also a tough side to this city and the Thai people, and nothing is tougher than the national sport, Muay Thai. It's in every facet of Thai culture, even in the prisons. So today we're in Klong Prem Prison, Thailand's largest maximum security penitentiary, home to over 20,000 inmates, and the site of the latest prison fight event. This event will feature eight bouts of Muay Thai and Western boxing, with Thai prisoners taking on international fighters from around the globe, with cash prizes, and more importantly, the honor and prestige of winning a prison fight championship belt. We were still in awe that the setting for this event was a hardcore prison. So there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in prisons around the world, but as far as we know, Thailand is the only place that actually publicizes and promotes free foreign fighters to come in and challenge inmates in both Muay Thai and Western boxing. All the boys are behind bars. All the boys are behind bars. 
เอาบัวบัวไปไปไปช่วยช่วยนั่งกันเอาแฟมเทวินสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับ After the press conference, they wanted us to check out the area where the prisoners get their training in. Sure, the workout area was pretty basic, but on a Rocky Balboa note, it's all they needed to do work. Asked us if we trained any Muay Thai and wanted to get in the ring and play around, so we happily obliged. I'm kind of dying now. I didn't warm up properly. That hurt my lungs. Fighting in a Thai prison, it's a good time. <sighs> We'll come see the fights, and we'll watch uh, my man James Goiter fight a guy that's fought five times in prison, and we'll hope that our friend doesn't break a nose, teeth. Maybe he'll get knocked out, but that'll be fun. Whatever. We're gonna try not to get knocked out. We're gonna try. How are you feeling from the fight, dude? Yeah, all good. Uh, I've chatted to the guy. He seems pretty relaxed. He's only had five fights, so um, uh, yeah. Just looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Um, see how it goes. I mean, if he comes out and he's really good, then maybe I'll have to go for it. But the way I'm thinking about it now is I'm, I'm, I'm maybe not gonna try and hurt him. But yeah, it's, it's a boxing match, so that's probably not that healthy an attitude. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling relaxed. The prison fight organization has just recently opened up the prison fight gym in Bangkok on the infamous Sukhumvit Road and will play host to not only Thai but foreign fighters, young and old, many of whom are looking to be matched up on future prison fight cards. My big challenge is uh, I, am, I want a uh, world champion, world champion uh, in boxing. I don't know my future. I live uh, day of day. In boxing, I just want to defy and fight, fight, fight. เป็นเส้นไฟเนี่ยที่เข้าไปทําเนี่ยเพื่อเพื่อจะช่วยเหลือคนในคุกอ่ะช่วยอยากจะให้เขาได้ชกมวยแล้วก็ได้สตังถ้าชกมวยเป็นเส้นไฟเนี่ยถ้าชกบ่อยๆเนี่ยเขาจะได้ลดโทษลดโทษได้ลดโทษได้
พื่อทําให้ชื่อเสียงให้ประเทศไทยมีชื่อเสียงทาชนะพวกยุโรปได้หรือหรือชกชกบ่อยๆก็จะได้ลดโทษลดเยอะลดเยอะเยอะลดเยอะส่วนมากที่เพลเซนไฟเนี่ยมียาเสพติดแล้วก็มีการมีป้นมีฆ่าว่าพรุ่งนี้มีคนที่ชกพรุ่งนี้มีติดคุกร้อยปีก็มีติดคุกไม่ได้ออกก็มีติด50ปีก็มีต่อยพรุ่งนี้ Prison fight can make me popular because uh, when people uh, listen fight inside prison uh, them think uh, wow it's crazy you know never do uh, and uh, people like you know good concept So the Thai guys that, that were just talking to us about the fight was discussing about how yes Thai fight and Thai prison fight have been around for hundreds of years. Uh, they used to originally take the Burmese fighters that they, they captured in, in war and they would let them fight and if they won they would let them fight for the Thai side. So that happened in the old kingdom of Siam and, and prison fight, this prison fight has only been going on for about the last two years but the same rules apply. Guys that are, are in prison for whatever crime, as we just heard, it can be for drugs, it can be for murder, it can be for anything. But they need to be people in prison that are serving good time. They're being, uh, contri they're contributing good things to the society of the prison. And then what what winds up happening is they're allowed to fight in prison fight. They're allowed to train twice a day, and then they get to fight a foreigner or another Thai that comes to the prison. And if they win. They will get money put into their bank account, so that is absolutely wild and what we're all about. Prison Fight, the gym here on Sukhumvit 64 has been started. A lot of fighters that will be coming out of this gym will actually be the ones fighting on future Prison Fight events. No idea that prison fight. When, when we got into doing the prison fight thing, that fighters out of a uh, city gym were in it. So it made me kind of happy because it produces this. This gym produces animal fighters. But, uh, we talked to Stephen. Stephen's not taking it too seriously. I asked how he felt about fighting in prison fight, and he goes, he, he likes it. He likes the fact that it's in a prison, but it's all novelty to him. All novelty. The other guy, Max, is over there. Max has only been training Muay Thai for two years. Only been training two years. This is his only camp. He's got a lot of camp loyalty. A lot of, a lot of fighters will bounce from camp to camp here in Bangkok, like they do all over the world. But uh, Max has only been in Jitty Gym. He's like loyal to this camp. Uh, and that's where a lot of foreigners are. I think it's three now, maybe it's not. Not, not a good chance for us, you know, because like Steve, he's always fight five, five rounds. So three, three rounds, maybe 50-50. You think the prisoners will maybe win? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, politics. <laughs> yeah, politics. <laughs> if, you know, if you can't knock him out or do very clear, it's difficult to win. But right now, I know it's one uh, judge from his name, Lee Senoi. Yeah. And put Panoi and some of the guy like foreigner, maybe fair fight. To be a fair fight. Alright? Not always a fair fight in Thailand, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> see, you see, yeah, you see. Yeah, you see. <laughs> There are literally hundreds of Muay Thai gyms all over Thailand. Many of them used to not allow foreign fighters, but as tourism has grown and the sport of Muay Thai has become legitimately famous worldwide, gyms are keen to share their knowledge of the Thai's sweet science and grow one of the most brutal sports on the planet. Jitty Gym is a great example of this open door policy. They are all super kind hearted while at the same time producing absolute beasts.
ือวันนี้ผมดีใจมากเลยครับและมั่นใจมากชนะลงมาผมก็ดีใจมากๆแล้วก็ที่ในการจัดจัดในครั้งนี้ผมผมก็ดีใจมากที่เขามีมีมีงานให้จัดแบบนี้มันเป็นการออกกำลังกายอย่างหนึ่งที่ทําให้ผมได้มั่นใจในการต่อยมวยนะครับตอนที่ซ้อมผมของผมรู้สึกว่าผมมั่นใจครับมั่นใจในการซ้อมและผมก็มั่นใจในการต่อยครับผมมาร์ตินส์เจมส์ผม32ปี old ผมจากอังกฤษแต่ผมอยู่ที่ออสเตรเลียมาตั้งแต่ประมาณ7ปีแล้ว Uh, I'm going to be fighting, uh, doing a boxing match uh, in about an hour's time against an inmate here in uh, Klong Prem Prison. Uh, I met him a week ago at the press conference. He's uh, he's a little bit out of shape. Um, I'm 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 no uh, <laughs> I'm no Adonis myself, so uh, we've got that in common. So uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be quite quite a relaxed fight. But um, let's see what happens. Maybe I'm going to get knocked out. I'll find out in about an hour's time. For me, it's just a really exciting opportunity because I used to work as a journalist in Thailand. Um, I worked for the Phuket Gazette. I really wanted to go inside Phuket Prison to interview some inmates. Uh, we asked permission numerous times. I was turned down every time. So for me, this is like a really exciting opportunity to get a glimpse inside Klong Prem Prison because uh, there aren't really any under circumstances under which an insider could just walk in here, could talk to the inmates. So it's just really exciting just to see like uh, an element of uh, of life that you would never, never normally get a chance to see. So I'm really, I'm excited for that to be honest. And uh, you know, it's also nice for the inmates because this must be a real treat for them. And at the end of the Fight, whatever happens, you know, I'm going to go back to my house to my girlfriend. I'm going to have a have a, have a square meal, a couple of glasses of wine. You know, the inmates they're stuck here, so for them this is probably the highlight of the year. So uh, it's just for me, it's just it's just fun, and it's it's good to be a part of something like that. มวยไทยวันนี้ครับดีใจที่ว่ามีมวยไทยวันนี้ให้สำหรับพวกผมมีโอกาสที่ได้มาชกเผยแพร่ให้คนข้างนอกเขารู้คนทั้งในในโอกาสยากที่ว่าจะได้มีมีมีโอกาสแบบนี้ที่ดีใจกันนะครับว่าว่าได้มีวันนี้ครับสำคัญมากๆนะสำหรับคนผู้อยู่หุ้นขังอยู่ข้างในโอกาสได้ได,ได้ได้ยากที่ว่าจะได้เผยแพร่ออกไปข้างนอกโอกาสได้ยากครับอนาคตก็คิดอยากจะทําว่าไปเปิดค่ายมวยข้างนอกนะทุกวันนี้ผมเป็นโค้ชโค้ชก็สอนให้บริเด็กที่ว่าได้มีวิชามีวิชามวยวิชามวยไทยศิลปะที่ว่าป้องกันตัวเพราะอยากให้มีโอกาสให้ออกไปนอกให้เผยแพร่นอกมากเยอะๆมากขึ้นครับเ
I'm feeling kind of embarrassed because uh, I boxed really badly. I probably didn't take it seriously enough going into it. Uh, the other guy didn't seem like he was taking it really seriously. Um, so I was thinking I was just going to play with him, but um, yeah, I ended up losing the decision. He was just, uh, I just ended up waiting on him too much. I was kind of in sparring mode and um, I'm a lot fitter than he is. So if I'd kind of taken the fight to him, I think I could have won it, but uh, I just waited on him and he won the decision. But um, you know, I've not got a mark on me and I, he, he wasn't too marked up either. So I think we're kind of both fine. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, happy for him. He's won the belt. Um, he lives in Klong Krem. I don't, so you know, he probably needs it more than I do. So um, yeah, full, 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 full credit to uh, my opponent, Jame. I think his name was. Yeah, I'd like to fight the same guy again. To be honest, like now that I've seen that, um, you know, we're, we're probably on a similar level. I mean, it wasn't wasn't a complete mismatch. I thought it was going to be a really easy fight, and um, I mean, it wasn't difficult, but I didn't win. So that kind of tells the story. So yeah, I would definitely like to come back and fight the guy again, and maybe kind of pick up the pace a little bit more next time. But I mean, it was a good experience, it's great to see the inside of a prison. Um, not too many people have uh, been inside Klong Prem uh, voluntarily, certainly not too many Westerners. So it's a good experience and yeah, I'd love to do it again. Uh, on the day there were eight fights, only two foreigners won. So you can see how the politics did play into a little bit of effect, unless they really, really broke them off. Uh, it was clear that the ties were going to win over the Westerners. But that being said, the two guys that won, man, great fights. Uh, the French kid that got knocked out at the end, Alex, who we were all rooting for, a little bit of a bummer, that, but that's the fight game. Overall, going to a prison is an ugly experience. but. The people that were in there and could be a part of it because they were on good behavior were more happy than could be, were sm more smiling than ever. I mean, these guys were having a good time. And they got their extra little uh, kudos and their waters and, the, and that sort of thing. So the prison fight experience for the guards, for the trainers, for the prisoners, overall, fantastic experience. I, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. It was absolutely amazing story. Uh, I guess on a last note is, uh, Cultural wise, it's just amazing to me that, you know, as an American, I grew up with baseball as our, as our national sport. It's amazing having a physical sport like Muay Thai be their national sport. Like they said, Muay Thai is in Thai people's blood. <laughs> Nobody's gonna ever take it away from them. They're gonna hold on to it forever. So, fight land, prison fight, Johnny Nutt, everything. Loving this stuff. Peace out, one love, Bangkok, coolest city on the planet. College boy. <laughs>